Hi, you guys. I recently made McCall's 8213, and I want to show you how it turned out in case you want to make one too. I cannot wait to tell you all about it, but real quick, if you're new here, hi, I'm Lindsay. I sew all my own clothes, and I'm so glad you found me. Be sure to introduce yourself in the comments so that I can give you a formal welcome. And for everyone watching, if you like seeing things that I've made, be sure to check out this playlist. It has dozens of videos just like this one so you can be inspired for your next project. Check out the link in the top right corner of your screen. It opens in a new tab so you won't lose your place here. Okay, let's get into this dress. This pattern is a pullover style dress with elastic at the back and tie strap option. There are also hem options including a ruffle and tiers. Initially, I loved the straight neckline, wide straps, and simplicity of it all. I don't know about you, but my summer makes are all about staying cool and comfortable, and this design fit the bill. For my version, I made UC exactly as drafted. It was super simple to construct, even with all those gathers for the tiers. The fabric I used is actually a thrifted Waverly curtain that I got from Goodwill. I was drawn to the colors and the big floral print, and as with every time I use a curtain to make a garment, I just hope for the best that it doesn't actually look like a curtain once I cut it up. Did you think that to yourself when you first saw it? Be honest. The fabric is 100% cotton and woven with just a little bit of texture in it, so it had the weight I wanted for the tiers, but still had enough drape that they wouldn't stick out too much. I mean, curtains are called drapery for a reason, right? This is a very, very simple garment to fit. There is so much ease throughout that the only measurement you really need to concern yourself with is the high bust. But even that has a little room for error since the back is elasticized. If you want to learn more about how I pick my size for every garment I sew, check out my fast fit worksheet. It's a method I developed after years of trying to make heads or tails of pattern sizing. With this method, my projects fit better the first time without requiring many alterations. The worksheet comes with an instructional video as well, so you'll have me to guide you through the process. I do have one gripe about this dress design though, and that is with the straps. As you can see, they tend to sit at the very edge of my shoulder, and with lots of movement, they just fall off. My best guess is that the designers thought that the elastic in the back would pull them in closer to the center, anchoring them on the shoulder, but that's just not what's happening. If I make this dress again, I would move the straps closer to the center on the back, almost making more of a subtle V shape with them. It's a super simple alteration and it would make wearing this dress 100% the most comfortable thing I own. So that's the good, bad, and ugly, or not so ugly, of McCall's 8213. What do you guys think? How did I do? I've got a ton of links in the description box, including the link to purchase this dress pattern from Something Delightful. I've also linked to my most recent pattern review for the Rosary Apparel Shirt Dress. So if you haven't seen that video yet, click on the bottom right of your screen and it will take you right there. But that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye!